Hi friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and welcome to our Tahoe Quilt Alone. Today we're diving into a diamond number one. If you need more information about this beautiful project, please visit our website at Laundry Basket Quilts and go to our YouTube channel for housekeeping video for Quilt Alone Tahoe. This quilt is just beautiful and today we're gonna focus on diamond number one. You have your tools, you got your kits. We have three different kit options. Yes, we do. So go to our website if you need a kit. You have your pattern. I myself chose the Tahoe Primrose pattern. So I'm going to be showing you all the step by step in those colors. If you have different colors, make sure you follow the fabric numbers. It's going to be super easy. If you're using your scraps, you are good to go. Now we cut our fabrics in our housekeeping video. Now I selected my fabrics for my strip sets. Okay, this is my strip sets. And this is the diamond that I'm going to be making. I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to focus on my strip set. Diamond number one is super cool because you get strip sets with four beautiful strips. I'm going to take my fabric marker, put it to the side. This is four beautiful strips. Each of them are one and a half inch cut. Then our second one is right here. Here. and in this one I have two strips that are one and a half and uh, one that it's two and a half and then the next one it's so exciting because the next one is just big three and a half inch strips and one and a half inch and the last one guess what you're not gonna have to even piece it together this is your last strip set it is just one big strip of four and a half make sure that this strip is 21 and three quarter inch long so that way you can cut it and have some fun with it once you uh, select your strip sets you're gonna go ahead and take them and place them right sides together following our basic direction in our first video our basic video how to offset you're gonna sew it press the seam open i'm gonna remind you about this but from now on when i show you every diamond i'm gonna assume that you know the basics that you sew two strips together press the seam open sew all four together and create a beautiful panel to review those directions like i said go to our first video with the basic directions now i already start trimming uh, cutting some of my units and in our first video I went detail how to do it. You're gonna be cutting strip units from this to create eight of them. And once you have all cut, then now it's time to select one of every one of those to line up to now make a diamond. And look at this, isn't that beautiful? Oh, this is gonna be such a cute diamond. I have first unit with four diamonds on it this one the next one and this one now all that i'm going to do is take two place them right sides together just like this and this is very important i want you to right here offset right there so this little bunny ears is sticking up and then centered up and the same thing happens right here i'm gonna now go ahead and stitch those two together and then press my seam open and flip it open i already did this look at this isn't a beautiful seam is open and i'm gonna put it down when I'm doing this, I'm going to repeat this eight times because I need to make eight diamonds. So I'm going to chain sew and repeat the same thing over and over. This is going to make your units beautiful and perfect because you're going to repeat. It's like exercising the same exercise over and over. Now, this is my uh, two remaining uh, units that I want to sew it. Those ones, I'm going to need a little bit extra work. It's important that you offer set right here but notice right here I want to meet my diamonds I want to make sure that they match perfectly okay how do I do that I'm going to 
lay them down together and what I like to do is I turn tiny bit over this edge and match it up. Do you see? Match it up. Then I'm going to go ahead, take a beautiful pin and I'm going to put it through my first seam right here, checking that came out through this side. Do you see? Look at this. It did it right away. Then I'm going to take two more pins, put one in the front and one in the back. Why? Because if I take this pin and turn it this way, sometimes my seams is moving. So lately I have been loving this idea to have two extra pins before the seam and after the seam to ensure that this is exactly where I want it. Now notice it and I eventually going to pull this pin out. This is going to be holding enough that my seams are going to match. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I want to make Make sure that it matches. See this seam with this seam is matching. This is just to get me close to the spot that I need to be. The most important is that I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to put it right through, right there, quarter inch away from this side, checking. Oh, look at this. Another pretty close one. This one, I want to move it just tiny bit, one thread. And I know sometimes it feels silly, one thread, but when you stitches and it's on an angle and it doesn't match, your diamonds are not going to line up and you're not going to be happy. So we want to get that prep work. This is going to take few minutes to pin it. But guess what? After it's pinned, you can go ahead, start sewing, chain sewing and guess what for one diamond i'm gonna have this seam plus this seam plus one in the middle three seams and my diamond is done repeat eight times and all eight diamonds are done but this is how i would prep it stitch it and look at it i just did that look how nice it worked out my points are matching really nice i'm super proud of it at the beginning maybe something is off with time it's gonna get better and better and now i need to make sure that this unit lays right on the top of this unit and this time we have this seam to match again i offset this gently now i'm gonna go ahead flip this over just to match it up you don't want to twist it too hard this is just so i can peek in there and see if everything is lining up and again i'm gonna grab my pen put it right through check yes it came out really nice on this side now i'm gonna get two more pins in the front and in the back and with time i'm telling you you're gonna be pro in matching those diamonds and you're gonna stitch as soon as you finish stitching you have a beautiful beautiful block look at this isn't it nice all my points are lining pretty nice i'm so proud of myself now all that i have to do is take my ruler and this is our ruler that we cut with it our units and now we can go ahead and place our ruler and check is my diamond a correct size look it looks pretty nice i'm so proud of it all that i have to do is repeat seven more times for eight total diamond one i hope you enjoyed this video please know for any tips or any help visit our website at laundry basket quilts visit our blog and we are so thankful that you're quilting along with us and creating a beautiful quilt happy quilting mm -hmm.